I can't eat, wait to eat what we have in the kitchen. No, <laughs> not that. those. Not the sloths. Sloth. Look how cute they are, though. My I sister can't really see them. likes sloths. I want to talk about what Lucy's making, not candy <laughs> sloths. But, it, but it's so cute. I wish I could show y'all. I really didn't know little. that you liked those. Sloths? You and Kristen Bell. Yeah. I, I, so I started seeing videos, mm -hmm. and I love the little ones and the little noise that they make, and they're just so cute. <laughs> Robbie surprised me for my birthday and took me down to the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo, and I had a birthday party with the sloths. <laughs> this is how good. This is how far this goes back. Oh, my gosh. I do love them. That I, is so I think they're cute. so cute, and I'm going to eat one in a minute. Um, well, I like sour candy, so yeah, I so might have one, too. Yeah, I'll share that with you. All right, so we have to talk about a big day today, and no, it's not just because I have soft candy. <laughs> today is Elle's birthday. Y'all, look how cute this picture is. <laughs> I oh, can't she believe she's Allison already won. said she's getting the picture ready. Oh, that's okay. Allison. Yes, my little girl <laughs> turned one today. I can't believe it. That was a fast year. That was a fast year. Oh, and no. she is cute. So I saw the picture, which we're going to have momentarily. Mm -hmm. I saw the picture. And Lucy, she is a good mix between you and Spiro. Like, she's kind of right there in the middle. <laughs> she is. She has bright blue eyes, which um, actually she gets from Posey. Mm -hmm. My okay. grandmother, Posey, has bright blue eyes, so she has the blue eyes, and she was born with really, really dark hair, but now it's lightened up. Yeah. So, yeah, she's kind of a cross um, between the boys, too. So, it's fun. All right, Allison, let me know when you have that picture. Yep. we got to show it because it's so cute. But uh, let's talk about what we're cooking while she's getting that ready uh, with the sausage, Brussels sprouts, and goat cheese pasta. Okay. So I have some water going in that pot. We're going to bring that up to a boil, and we'll get our pasta down in it when it um, comes to a boil. So okay. we'll salt the water when it comes up because you always want to salt your water when you're cooking pasta. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to use 12 ounces of pasta. And I'm using penne, but you could use whatever shape you like. Yeah. And then in this pot, I have a pound of Italian sausage that I'm just breaking up with this spoon. Sausage um, doesn't want to crumb, you know, cook and crumble up as easily mm -hmm. as ground beef, so you really want to work it with your um, wooden spoon here. So we just have that over medium high heat. So we'll let that kind of get some color on it, and okay. then we're going to add our Brussels sprouts. So. A lot of people are really into Brussels sprouts still. It's yeah. been, you know, it's like we got over kale and then everybody got into Brussels sprouts, <laughs> um, which on. they're really good. Um, we sell them in these little bags. So there's about 10 or 12 um, in them. And what you want to do is, like you're dealing with cabbage, because that's, you know, little mini cabbage. If there's yeah. any, um, you know, kind of dry outer leaves, you can kind of peel those off and then trim off the end. And then um, today, oh, here it comes. Ah, don't yeah, that, that water's going. <laughs> Let me turn that down. I think that's the last time you were here. I think, I think we I had some too. water going too. Crazy right, over we'll turn here. That down. I'm like, what's that popping noise? <laughs> Don't burn chastity. And then we're just going to thinly slice these guys. And once our sausage gets a little bit of color on it, just a couple minutes in there, we're going to add in our sliced Brussels sprouts. Um, and then I'm just going to show you all the corn real quick. Okay. And then on the break, I'll add that pasta. Um, so we're going to use three ears of fresh corn and cutting it off the cob. You can use the little trick of putting a little bowl upside down inside of a bigger bowl. And it's kind of easy to catch the kernels and I kind of catch them with my finger. I mean, it makes a mess anyway, but you know. It does look fun though. I know. I was always wanted to cut the corn off the cob when I was little. Mom would be like, just yeah. just eat it. Just eat it. No cutting for you. <laughs> no cutting. Um, so anyway, the corn is going to add a really yummy freshness to our pasta. I feel like this is a great way also to get those vegetables in, Lucy. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of times, like you said, Brussels sprouts are very popular, but a lot of times you don't know kind of what to do with them. So I feel like it's a good way to introduce new vegetables and yeah. and make something good with them. Yeah, that's definitely a good point. A lot of people just, you know, roast the Brussels sprouts or saute them, I and this is... A different fun application and corn too, you know. Um, everybody, I mean, it's so delicious just eating it off the cob or, you know, cutting it off and sauteing mm -hmm. it. Um, and when it's so sweet like this, you know, you don't even really have to add butter to it. So it's kind of taking our veggies in a, in a different direction. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and add our Brussels sprouts so those can start cooking on our break. Okay, well, we'll do that. Also, we promised you the picture. I believe it's ready. <laughs> look how cute this, look at that. <laughs> there she is. She's so cute. 
She is a sweetheart. Her name is, well, her name's Eleanor, and we call her Elle for short, mm -hmm. um, after Spira's grandmother. Um, but we've started calling her Little. Spira started calling her Little as soon as she was born, and it has kind of I think stuck. it's a cute little nickname. So we call her Little. So she, I got her some little donut holes this morning, yeah. so she was all about those. She was excited. All yeah. right. Well, happy birthday, Little, <laughs> a.k.a. L. Uh, we're going to continue to work on this dish in the kitchen, but we've also got some good stuff coming up, right, Joe?